Many years ago, I sat in a room with a presidential candidate facing a must-win primary. We all knew if he lost, it would be the end. During a meeting with the candidate and his bevy of consultants, he was shown a mail piece they had prepared. Well-documented, well-written, thoroughly fact-checked, a deadly attack on the character of his principal opponent. The room grew quiet as the candidate read every word, examined every footnote, and pondered every picture. He then laid it on the table. This will kill my opponent, he said, but it's not the way I want to win. I ran because this guy and I disagree about a trade policy that I think is unfair to American workers. I'll win it on that or we'll just all go home. It was not the only time in my career as a political consultant that I've seen a client draw a line in the sand or refuse to do something that violated their notion of right and wrong. Some won. Some fell short because they refused to spew hate, foment violence, or willfully prevaricate their way to victory. As one once told me, I'd rather lose an election than my dignity. And then he added something else. I have to look at my face when I shave. I never want to be ashamed of what I see. Daniel Patrick Moynihan, a former senator from New York, once penned an essay titled Defining Deviancy Down. It was a reference to societies that tolerate a decline in moral standards to the point at which moral standards completely disappear. Today, it can be used to describe the state of the American democracy where no lie is too obscene, no utterance too repugnant, no hypocrisy too cynical, no conspiracy too crazy to be bellowed on the public stage. Done in a quest for power without purpose, other than to quash, quell, and vanquish a political adversary. I've lived long enough to have seen an earlier age when no matter the passions of the moment, the guardrails of democratic discourse were abided in the marketplace of ideas. I'm under no illusion that we'll soon return to that time. I also know this. You do not have to contort, bend, or break your moral code in a political campaign. Running for office does not require that you lose your dignity. Victory does not demand that you disgrace yourself. Politics can and should be a noble profession. If you'd like to run for office and play a role in making it so, I invite you to be in touch. I'm Jay Townsend.